Hello and a warm welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Melinda Akinlami. On the program today, security forces in Bonu State for planned attacks intercept two female suicide bombers in Medugri, the Bonu State capital. Federal government insists on supporting farmers across the country with technology and equipment to increase productivity in agriculture. The Benue State Government tasks federal government on roads, infrastructure and the development of far-flung communities. We begin in Abuja, where the federal government has withdrawn the fraud charges filed against the chief registrar of the Supreme Court, Mr. Ahmed Gambo Saleh, and two others before the federal high court in the capital territory. Mr. Saleh was to be arraigned alongside Mr. Mohammed Sharif and one real one, Lawal, before Justice Abba Mohammed on a nine count charge bordering on diversion of 2.2 billion naira public fund criminal breach of trust and taking bribes from Supreme Court contractors to the tune of 74.4 million naira. They were billed to be arraigned earlier, but it could not hold as one of the defendants was absent in court due to an undisclosed ailment. Another chapter of the River State rerun elections has opened by the police as it claims that 111 million naira has been recovered from some of the electoral officials who conducted the process. Releasing the report today, the police showed cash evidence allegedly recovered from the suspect. There's been a lot of controversy since the conduct of the rerun elections leading to allegations of bribery and intimidation. When the panel was set up by the police, the River State Governor, Gisum Wike, openly criticized the composition of the investigative committee, saying he has no confidence in it. He also set up his own committee to look into the complaints and allegations of fraud during the River's rerun elections. The Bronu State Police Command says security forces have foiled the plans of two female suicide bombers in Medugri. The police public relations officer, Victor Ishuku, who confirmed the incident, explains that the women were spotted at about 7 this morning behind the NMPC mega filling station in Molai area, trying to move into Medugri town. The suspects, said to be about 18 years old, were intercepted by security operatives. One was arrested, the other was shot. The anti-bomb personnel, which has been drafted to the scene, has secured the area. Medugri has been under attack ever since the army declared the fall of Sambisa Forest, the notorious hideout of the Boko Haram sect. In the meantime, the Vigilante Group of Nigeria says 35 of its members lost their lives in the fight against insurgency in Adamawa State, while over a thousand others were killed across the country within three years. The Commander General of the group, Usman Jahun, revealed this at the end of a capacity building program in Yola, the Adamawa state capital. Hundreds of members of the Vigilante Group of Nigeria, drawn from the 21 local government areas at Adamawa state, converge on Yola, the state capital. They are here after a three-day training that equipped them with new skills, techniques and defense tactics, some of which they exhibit. The Commander General highlights the contribution of the organization in the fight against Boko Haram and the liberation of areas captured by the terrorists in Adamawa State. We are here in Adamawa today, first of all to see our men who support the military and other security agencies in their fight against the insurgency in the Northeast, especially in Adamawa State. And we've seen them. We went around some of these places, and today we are here for their capacity development program. Our representative of the participants speaks on the benefit of the training. The members will benefit the training they had in how to combat crime and criminality. In either way anything comes in, we are ready to combat, and we are ready to combat crime in Nigeria. On the sidelines of the event, the head of the organization lists some of their challenges and calls out to government for help. Our challenges is funding 
Our challenges is uh, equipment. We don't have equipment. We don't have uh, vehicles to operate. Um, uniforms, capacity development, a lot of that. And uh, we don't have any scheme. As I said we lost our men almost at five in Adamawa, 1,000 throughout the country. There is no scheme that will uh, support them, to support the family. So it's a very serious challenge as far as we are concerned. Going forward, the contribution of these ones cannot be underestimated, especially against the backdrop of community-based crime fighting and the need to ensure peace while life gradually returns to the state. Staying with security matters, the police command in Niger State says it has arrested 195 rustlers and recovered over 600 cattle in different areas of the state. The commissioner of police, Zubiru Mwazu, who lined up the suspect in Mina, says most of them are herdsmen and kidnappers who had terrorized several communities in the Niger East Senatorial District. With the massive onslaughts on these armed bandits, and defeat of these criminal elements, normalcy has since been restored in those areas, and the villages are back in their villages going about their lawful businesses. The Nigerian police force, in collaboration with other sister security agencies, took this battle to dens of these armed bandits in notable areas like Alawa, Kukoki. Pandogari, Kafinkoro, Serkimpawa, Shiroro, Mongoro, Lapai, and Burara. The aerial surveillance and ground raids culminated into a harvest of arrest and recovery of assorted weapons. A total of 194 suspects were arrested in the month of January, among which are 24 most wanted and notorious kidnappers and cattle rustlers. 612 cattle were recovered and have since been handed over to their various owners. In Cross River State, the Commissioner of Police, Hafiz Mohammed, is asking for the cooperation of the state government, security agencies, traditional institutions and residents for effective policing. According to the new police boss, the popular saying that the police is your friend will be experienced by law-abiding citizens, while the police will not spare the rod in dealing with those found culpable. Every Taliban that is citizen of this state. To please partner with the police. And that partnering has to do with the issue of community policy. I will try all that I can to ensure that I involve people in our day-to-day -day activities. Partnering with everybody, meaning to partner with people who are ready to make difference in Calabar and Cross River State at large. And away from security matters, the federal government says it is supporting small and medium scale farmers across the country with high tech equipment to increase productivity. The Minister of Science and Technology, Mr. Albunayaonu, during a visit to an oil palm plantation in Cross River State, insists that investing in agriculture remains the sure way to revive the nation's economy. Whatever is done here, if there is no way of letting Nigerian farmers you know, use this technology, uh, again, we're going to have problems. Uh, so it's, it's important that we also assist Nigerian uh, farmers who may not be in a position to have a state as big as this, uh, plantations as big as this, but at least to improve on their productivity. The Federal Ministry of Science and Technology has the mandate to move our nation uh, from being a resource-based to a knowledge-based uh, economy. Uh, we have seen that uh, our economy being resource-based uh, cannot uh, make us a truly great nation because one we don't determine the price of all these commodities uh, but if we move to a knowledge based economy then we can for example the the uh, palm oil 
in its crude form can be refined the way you refine uh, crude oil, petroleum uh, products. That's what people don't know. And there are so many fractions. You can get so many, so many uh, chemicals that are useful in the pharmaceutical industry, so many other uh, industries, minus just products that are needed, not just for nutrition, not just for food. So we, we want to make sure uh, that uh, the ministry will contribute in, in uh, getting this transformation which is very important for our country.